Hi guys! As you can see, we are back in my super tiny bathroom, which means we are going to do another hair related video. And today I'm going to show you how to install clip-in extensions. So I, clip-ins are the only kind of extensions I use and I don't use them that often, but I like to use them when I just want to be super extra, which, you know, who doesn't want to be super extra? So I um, want to say thank you to Glam Seamless for sponsoring this video and sending me these goodies that I'm going to show you guys. Um, if you are new here, I am Megan of Curves, Curls, and Clothes, and if you are already part of the CCC family, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Uh, you new people, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell before you leave so you don't miss any of the new videos. I am going to show you first everything that they sent me and then we are going to jump in like I haven't even um, opened the extensions all the way so we're gonna jump in and I'll show you how I install them but first up I wanted to show you the box and how this works so you will pick your color and I picked the color cherry wine and um, they actually look really really close to my color so that's really exciting because normally I have to get hair extensions custom dyed because of this red so you will get this box here obviously it won't be open <laughs> but you'll get this box and your hair extensions your actual ones you're gonna wear are gonna be in this top section and then if you look on the bottom it says tester piece so you will have a piece that looks like this in this part here. So you're going to want to open this part first and get your tester piece and see if it is a good match to your hair. So if you don't like your color and you want to exchange it for another color, you can send it back if you have not opened this top part. So make sure you open the bottom part first, get your little tester piece out, compare it to your hair and see if it is a go before you open the top part. Now the top part is going to have your extensions in it. And so these are mine. So this is really, really pretty. Uh, these are the Invisa clips. So, and it's 100% Remy human hair. So these are the clips that you're not supposed to be able to see. They're supposed to lay flat. And as you can see, the top part is um, really, really flat so you shouldn't be able to see them in your hair which is awesome and I got the color cherry wine which is also um 99j the length is 20 inches so I got the 20 inch length and they're just really pretty so I'm excited to try them as you can see I haven't even um taken the whole thing off but I wanted to show you the other goodies they sent me before we jump into that so they sent me this little glam seamless carrying case to put them in and by the way I always name my hair extensions it's a thing so you hit me in the comments and let me know what you think I should name them a couple of my other ones I have one named Karen and then I have one named Susan so we should name this one too so what do you think her name should be um, next up a couple other things that they sent me were the ultra lush shampoo and the ultra lush conditioner so that's exciting. Can't wait to try those. I've never had a hair extension shampoo and conditioner before. I always just use my own. So that's really nice to have some that are made for hair extensions. And this is the Glam Over Restorative Mask Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. They sent that. They sent me some little hair ties that are the little stretchy kind that I like. And they sent me a Pro Elite Travel Brush really gold and fancy. This is a boar head brush that you can style and brush out waves or create the perfect ponytail with. So we'll have to check that situation out. It's like got some little plastic bristles and then it's got some boar's head in there. If you can see it's two different kinds. So this is the seven clip wefts. So there's seven different wefts in here. There's, um, this also will come with your hair extensions, this little directions card. So it tells you exactly how to install them. Um, I may install them a little differently from what's on here just because I have such a deep side part. I tend to put more on this side than on the other side. So, but we'll, we'll just see how it goes. But you're going to get a three clip weft, a four clip weft, a five clip weft, and four two clip wefts. So let's open these bad boys up. A little twist tie. What is this? It's 
So we're just going to slide that off of there. So I'm going to separate my wefts. So these are all of my two clift wefts. So we're going to put those there because those are the last things we're going to install. And then we are going to pull out the three, the four, and the five. And the four and the five just want to hang out. Okay. So you're going to start with your three clift wet, weft. Let's see how many times I messed that up. And you're going to open up all your clips. And you just to open them, you're just going, that's closed and that's open. So they just snap open. And so now we are going to use one of their little hair things, if it's big enough. Yes. Okay, so you're going to take your hair and you're going to start about three inches from the nape of the neck. So you're going to pull up most of your hair except for just a little smidge that's open, I mean that's down at the bottom. So I'm going to tie this up. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can use your fingers or you could use a comb if you just really wanted to get super jazzy with it and make sure that it was a perfectly straight line, you totally could do that. So I'm going to take this little comb here, this is what I use to back comb. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can see, hopefully you can see. And I'm going to take the hair right here and I'm going to back comb it a little bit to give it a little bit of texture for the clips to hang on to. Just right there at the nape, I mean right there at the scalp where I'm going to clip in my three cap cleft. Three, three clipped weft. <laughs> so I'm going to take my three clip and I'm going to put it right here. Hopefully you guys can see snap it in. I'm going to push it up against my scalp into the hair and then I'm going to snap it in tightly. And there we go. We have the first weft in. So that is your three clip. You have that in and then you're going to take your four clip. So it's going to throw three clip, four clip, five clip, and then your two clips on the side. So you're going to put your hair back down, and you're going to go about an inch or two above where you just put the last weft. You want to have enough where it's going to look, not going to look super lumpy wherever you put your um, wefts. You don't want them to be able to see the other ones. You don't want them to all bunch up together and be a big old lump in the back of your head. So, next we have our four clip. See? Open all these bad boys up. And we are going to do the same thing. I'm going to tease. And then I'm going to snap these in. Okay, now we have the second weft in. All right, now we have the big one going in. So this is your five clip weft. So open them all up. I'm gonna go another inch above where we put that last one. All right, we're gonna tease. And you can tease as much or as little as you like. Um, the instructions say to do hairspray as well, but I don't use a lot of hairspray on my hair, so, and they seem to stay just fine. All my other clip-ins have not been an issue with not using hairspray. But if you want a more secure hold, then I would definitely say throw some hairspray on there. So we're going to go in with our fifth one. So with the fifth one, since it's so long, I'm going to try to start my middle one and put it in first and go out from there. So what I do is try to tuck it up and then push down and snap till you feel it is securely in the hair 
and you're good to go. Okay, so now we have our five clip weft in. So now we're going to put in our two clips. So like I said, um, I have a very, very deep part on this side. So I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm probably going to put three two clips on this side and one two clip on this side. We're going to pull all the hair to the front and see how we're looking. Okay, okay. I think it's a really good match for my hair, which is like super exciting because like I said, I've had to... Um, custom dye every other extensions that I've ever had. So the fact that I didn't have to custom dye these is so bomb. <laughs> Cause um, if you have ever dyed extensions before, you know what a pain that is. <laughs> so we're gonna do our two clips now. So I'm gonna do, these go on the sides. So I'm gonna go about right here above my ear. Like my rule of thumb is to try to put the last ones right in line with your ear, just so you're not gonna see them when you put your hair down. So this one will probably be a little easier to see. Tease just a tiny bit. I have very textured hair, so I don't really have to worry about them slipping out. So we are going to snap this little two one in. Snap. There we go. We're going to pull that hair down. You can see that one, so we're going to redo it. See, sometimes it makes you just mess up a little bit. So, let's try this again. Come here, a little two clip. And make sure you pull enough hair up when you're putting these side ones in so that you don't have that happen when you put your hair down so you cannot see the clips. So there we go. There's the two clip on that side. So let's put these last ones in on this side. So I'm going to pull up quite a bit of hair up just because like I said I have a very Deep parts, so I've got a lot of hair on this side. We have three two clips left. I can't wait to watch this and see how many times I messed up weft and clip. Okay. I'm gonna put this one a little bit further towards the back, making sure nobody's gonna get seen. I don't like how high that is. So I'm going to go a little further down. This is really just trial and error, to be honest. Like, if you like the way it looks the one time, just remember about where you put your clips and you will know for the next time, right? We look really good. Looking really full. We have two more to add in. So you really just look at your hair and see where you think you might need a little more fullness. And I think we're gonna go, it looks really good actually, but I think I'm gonna do the two more on this side. I don't know, I might stick one under here somewhere. I'm gonna go like right here behind my ear. I'm gonna pull this back a little. There we go. I did end up putting the two on that side just because I felt like it needed a little more weight on that side. And we're gonna put the last one, the last one we're going to throw right here closer to the part just to fill in a little bit more. So I am going to go a little higher with this one just because there is a slight difference in 
my hair color, so I want to make sure that it looks pretty natural. And I think it does, actually. If you want to, like, for real back comb your hair, then you go for it, girl. But... Okay, so now we have the last one put in. And I have extremely thick hair, so that one gets covered just fine. Okay, so we have all seven wefts in. I'm going to put it all back and show you guys what it looks like in the back. All seven wefts. And I think they look really good. I think they look really full. They feel really comfortable. Uh, you can totally style these any way you want to. You could curl them with the rest of your hair. You can leave them straight, which is what I'm going to do tonight for a girl's night. But there are so many options. You can do ponytails with um, extensions. If that's something you guys want to see, I have done really high, long ponies with extensions before. So if you want to see that, I can show you guys that. But I want to say thanks again to Glam Seamless for sending me over these really pretty extensions that so match my hair. So excited. I like they look really good. Like they, it's almost like an exact match to my hair. The bottom part of my hair is a little brighter than the top part. That's just the way that I dye it. So you can see the bottom of it really blends beautifully. So, and the part, the top part obviously is close to the scalp and you can't see it. So, um, these look really good. I'm really happy with these. And I will definitely link them below and give you all the deets if you guys want. I can't stop touching them. Y'all are going to hate on me in the comments for touching them so much. But um, I will put all the details in the description bar below if you guys want to shop them. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell before you leave. And I will see you in the next video.